All right, it's day three on the day Tesla three. build. What's going on? It's getting shorter. Jacob's cutting. Don't cut, you gotta talk to the camera. To what are we gonna say? I don't know. We're just gonna cut it, you know? <laughs> We've got a frame that's uh, significantly too long because the bed is now 16 inches shorter. So the frame needs to get cut down 16 inches too. So um, that's about what's uh, gonna go down. So Jacob went and uh, he measured the 16 inches here. We didn't really take much time, you know, worrying about it being even on both sides or anything. We're just gonna go with a straight cut because we've got some fish plates we're gonna put on it. We've got some boxing plates that are gonna go on the inside, and hopefully, I'll have those on my website too for somebody that wants to do the same type of deal. So, make your long bed so much more valuable as a short bed. That's right. <laughs> it's, I mean, it, I don't care how much you love a long bed, you can't deny the fact that a short bed is way more valuable. Than no, that. no one can deny that Andrew's opinion is superior to <laughs> everyone right. else's no opinion. Deny. No, 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 the, 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 the value of your truck. Comment down in the <laughs> Well, we've already oh, we're, we're doing that. You're gonna get lots of comments. And we're, uh, let's, we're, that's, that's okay. All you long bed lovers, bring on the hate because oh, no. Andrew needs it. Yeah, no, I, I mean, it's not gonna change my mind about what I think is better. <laughs> well, somebody's probably saying better right now. But also, all you gotta do is search around and it, it'll tell you which one's more valuable. The short bed is definitely more valuable. So we're increasing the value by at least a few thousand dollars right here. <laughs> all right, all that's right. your cue, Jacob. Go. Start cutting. So we cut the frame, cut 16 inches out of it. We went and put this back together. The one thing we did do is we, I went and measured the bed from the front bed hole, which doesn't change in, to, in, in relationship to the, the back of the, the cab here. That distance from here to the second bed hole, which is obviously where we modified both the, the bed itself and the frame. So I wanna make sure that this distance was correct. And we've got right about 23 inches, which is what we're looking for. Um, which is what the, the, the bed that we've already modified is. You know, we're gonna put some fish plate ma uh, fish plates on it and uh, weld it all up on the inside, the outside. We're gonna put uh, a boxing plate on here, so it'll be, it'll be plenty strong. Jacob did a pretty good job. That's some nice big welds right there. Well, we got the uh, the front and the back of the frame shortened. So we cut it here, took 16 inches out, put it back together. Then for the rear, we just chopped four inches off the back, and then we put a plate on the inside, which is a small square plate that I had left over there on the inside of the of the frame rail, and then we put a big plate on the outside and then we did a boxing plate here these these are actually plates that I've got um, and we cut this edge off here because I don't want to the, the bed bolt comes through here and I want to be able to access that I didn't want to make any provisions for it or anything so we just cut the plate down uh, so we have plenty of, of access
All right, so we got the long bed and we got it marked out here. This is the front. In the front, you have to take 16 inches off. And the, the main thing I really wanted to do is I didn't want to just lock it off like right in the middle of the bed somewhere, in the front of the bedside. Um, this is just gonna stay a patina truck. So when you're trying to match patina, I mean, let's just be real, fake patina looks terrible. And so most of the time matching it is the same way. It just doesn't look very good. So <clears throat> I wanted to hide it as best as possible. So I wanted the seam to be as close to this front edge of the bed as possible. Um, it makes it more complicated doing it this way um, rather than just taking a sawzall down the side of it. But um, I think overall it's gonna look better. So basically what we're doing is we're, we're running the tape down the front seam here. And then we come up and we want to keep the, 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 the stake bed here. Um, I had kind of thought to run with the, the edge of the, the, the bed here, but it creates an angle. And one of the things that Andrew talked about is that if we can keep right angles in this thing and not have all these weird angles, it just makes it a lot easier to match up. So we kept it right here as right angles, um, which is why we moved the line a little bit further in from the very, very edge. Um, the problem with doing it this way is that you, it, you have to cut the inside of the bed much different. So if you come over here to the other side, you can see where Andrew's already got it cut apart. We cut the Z out of it here. Same with here, it's the exact same thing as the other side. You can still see the stake bed here is, is good. Um, but then right here where the, the, the top half of the bed and the bottom half of the bed meet, they're spot welded right here together. Okay, and then you know with Ford they, they put seam sealer and all these seams or whatever. <clears throat> well, what we need to do is here on the inside, we actually have to have the bed cut quite a bit uh, farther forward because you have the front bed uh, mounts right here. And we, we don't wanna move those or change those or anything like that. So, and there's a reinforcement underneath the, um, underneath the, the bed floor also and we don't want to move any of that. So we want to take out the section between the actual reinforcement parts. It makes it a lot easier in the bed floor. So you can see here, this is where we're actually going to cut. We're going to cut straight down here on this side of the stake bed, goes down and it'll go all the way across. And same right here, this is your 16 inches, okay? But then we're going to cut it up to this line right here. We're going to cut right here, okay? And then this whole thing will move in this section. This part will butt up to right here. Right here, we'll put up to here, and then we'll have the overhang that will match up here on the outside of the bed. Okay, so um, what we did is um, we went around the stake bed and right over here we're about maybe three quarters of an inch or so away from the rolled edge of the front of the bed here. Um, there are a couple things that this does for us. One, when we go to weld it back together, this edge now, even though it's fully cut, I can't bend this edge. It's this contour is gonna stay uh, completely the way it should. Whereas this bedside, if we did it right in the middle of the bedside, both of the sides would be like this, which are super flimsy and wobbly. Um, and so when you try and weld two of these types of uh, joints together, or, you know, or the, where the metal is all wobbly like this, it has nothing really rigid. Um, you're gonna get a lot of warpage. So we're gonna minimize some of the warpage by having this right next to this uh, bent front area. If you look at this other side where we have, we already have this intersection pulled out here, and you can see how this is going to, once this, this bed floor is cut all the way across, then this front section will slide right into this uh, rear section here. And the goal is to have everything line up perfectly and uh, get our nice 
16 inches taken out, but we get our right on the edge cut and we still get to keep the, the stake bed there. So, or at least the, you know, the pocket. Um, this way, I think it turns out to be a much cleaner setup. We'll have less warpage, hopefully. And um, it'll look like we didn't do it. At least that's the goal, is to have it make it look like we didn't do anything. This one did have one of the, the bedside uh, compartments here, which made it quite a bit more difficult. But what we're gonna do here, we have this section still. We're gonna butt this up and we're gonna, we're gonna tack it in place. Then we'll actually cut out this section here and treat it like a patch panel almost because we have that other one there and we'll lay it over and then do a, a patch panel replacement essentially um, to get that the, the box contour back. And then we'll probably end up narrowing the box and, and actually putting it back in. So I think that'll be just the best way to make it look decent. Okay, so we uh, we got everything cut out. Got the center cut out. This uh, 16 inches um, in our nice little Z. But we started up here on the bed rail because it it's got multiple bends right here, and this is going to be the hardest to manipulate. So we start here in this corner. We're going to get these edges real good. And then we're just gonna kinda manipulate and do what we need to do to get all the rest of us to fit right. Um, this is super flimsy down here. And uh, shouldn't take too much to get it where we need it to go. But I think it'll turn out pretty nice, so. And then if you look on this side over here, we've actually got where it's overlapped. So I had a little bit of, basically this cut, which was the, the Z that was further down, I actually cut it a little bit higher and then uh, the one that was here on the end which is underneath this ended up cutting a little bit lower it's not really a big deal because once we have this set up what I'll do is I'll go through I'll take the die grinder and I'll take the cutoff wheel and just go straight through straight through with it and then it'll give me this exact same nice gap and I can go through and line it up and as I'm doing this I'm taking a little pocket screwdriver and basically manipulating the metal back and forth and just using the tip of my finger to feel when they're both nice and flat. When they're nice and flat, I'll hit it with a little tack and then go to the next spot, get it nice and flat, hit it with a tack, go to the next spot. And it's just this really slow process um, and you just want to tack every little bit. And then as you get the whole thing in, then you'll just slowly tack the whole thing again. Keep going, tack, 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 and then grind it down and tack and grind it down. It's a, it's a long process, but um, that's how you make it turn out really nice. So here in the bed floor, if you're getting really lazy and you're really you're just trying to do it real fast, I mean, this is the place that you would go ahead and just weld solid if, I mean, if you're just really in a rush, this will be the the, the area that is uh, gonna be least affected or, or it's not gonna matter as much, I should say. So, but the way you're supposed to do it is go and tack everything up, jump around, and then take the take the tacks down and go through and fill up more gaps. We got four inches to take out of the back, um, and then we'll have a true short bed. So pretty excited about that. This looks a thousand times better if you ask me. Andrew, how's it looking? Okay.
looking good. She looks a lot more like a man. We're not there yet, but. Not there yet. We gotta cut the back end up of this, shorten it up. I'd say, I'd say we nailed it though. I mean, the wheels look like they're exactly in the place they're supposed to be. She's a little tweaked. So we gotta bolt it down and then we'll, we'll start welding all this stuff back together. Hopefully it'll magically become straight again. It's, I mean, right dude, you can't tell me this truck doesn't look a million times better. <laughs> and we're, and we're not even, we're not even all the way there. <laughs> 